Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write numbers in expanded form and expanded notation. We will take a look at each separately first. We will start with expanded form and then move on to expanded notation. Once we get both of these down separately, we will look at an example of them next to each other in order to compare. Now, when we write numbers in expanded form and expanded notation, we expand the numbers out to show the value of each digit. How we do that is going to be slightly different. For expanded form, we show the value of each digit by just writing the value. So how much each digit is worth? For expanded notation, we show the value of each digit using multiplication. So the goal of each of these is basically the same. They are very similar, but they are slightly different. You may even hear expanded notation referred to as expanded form, just a different way of doing expanded form. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 8,625. To start writing a number in expanded form, we start with the digit furthest to the left, and then we work our way right. So for number one, we start with this eight right here. Well, what's the value of this eight? What's it worth? Think about what place the eight's in. Well, the eight is in the thousands place, so it has a value of 8,000. So let's start our expanded form here. We put 8,000 plus, and we put an addition sign here because we want the sum of all of the values. We are adding the values of each digit when writing a number in expanded form. So we use addition in between. The sum of all of the values will equal the original number. Now moving to our next digit, so we are moving right, we have a six. This six is in the hundreds place, so the value of the six is 600. So we can put 600 plus our next digit is a two in the tens place, so that two has a value of 20. Plus, and then lastly, we have a five in the ones place. This five has a value of five. So we put five here. And that's it. That's 8,625 in expanded form. We expanded that number out to show the value of each digit. Let's move on to number two, where we have 708,330. So we start with the digit furthest to the left. That's this seven right here. So what's the value of this seven? Well, it's in the hundred thousands place. So the value of this seven is 700,000. The next digit is a zero in the ten thousands place. This zero tells us that the number doesn't have any 10,000s, so we don't have a value to show here. We don't have a value to write for the 10,000s place. So we can move past that zero and move to this eight right here in the thousands place. So this eight has a value of 8,000. Then we have a three in the hundreds place. So the value of this three is 300. Then we have another three in the tens place. So the value of this three is 30. And then we have a zero in the ones place. So we don't have a value to show here. We don't have a value to write for the ones place. So we are done. That's the expanded form of 708,330. Lastly, let's take a look at number three, where we have 2,410,960. Let's start with the furthest digit to the left, this two. Now, what is the value of this two? 
Well, it's in the millions place, so it has a value of 2 million. So 2 million. And then we can move to the next digit, this 4 right here in the hundred thousands place. So this 4 has a value of 400,000. Next, we have a 1 in the 10 thousands place. So this 1 has a value of 10,000. The next digit is a zero in the thousands place. So we don't have any thousands for this number. We don't have a value to show here. So we don't have anything to write for the thousands place. So we can move to the next digit, which is a nine in the hundreds place. So this nine has a value of 900. Moving to the next digit, we have a six in the tens place. This six has a value of 60. And then we have a zero in the ones place. So we don't have anything to write for the ones place. So there's how to write numbers in expanded form. Let's move on to expanded notation. Here are our examples for expanded notation. Now when we write a number in expanded notation, we expand the number out to show the value of each digit using multiplication. We multiply each digit by its place value. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 357. To start writing a number in expanded notation, we start with the digit furthest to the left, and we work our way right. So for number one, we start with this three right here. Well, what's the value of this three? What's this three worth? For expanded notation, we show this value by taking the digit. So we are going to start our parentheses, which we will use to group our digits and place values. So the parentheses kind of help us keep things organized. Then we have our digit three, and then we multiply that digit by its place value. Well, what place is this three in? It's in the hundreds place. So we multiply by 100. And then we can close the parentheses. This three has a value of three hundreds, three groups of 100, which is 300. And we can group this by putting it in parentheses. So we have a three in the hundreds place, three times 100, plus, and we put an addition sign here because we want the sum of all of the values. We are adding the values of each digit when writing a number in expanded notation. So we use addition in between. The sum of all of the values will equal the original number. And now we move to the next digit, this five right here. So we can start our parentheses and then our digit is a five times, well, this five is in the tens place, so times 10. And then we can end our parentheses. That five has a value of five tens, five groups of 10, which is 50 plus, and then lastly, we have a seven in the ones place. So start our parentheses. Our digit is a seven times, and then that seven is in the ones place. So times one, and then we can end the parentheses. That seven has a value of seven ones, seven groups of one, which is just seven. And that's it. That's the expanded notation of 357. We expanded that number out to show the value of each digit using multiplication. Each digit times its place value. Moving on to number two, we have 21,080. Let's start with the furthest digit to the left. So this two right here. So we can start with this two, and then that two is in the 10 thousands place, so times 10 
thousand. This two has a value of two ten thousands, two groups of ten thousand, which is twenty thousand. Our next digit, so plus, and then our next digit is this one right here. So we have a one, and then that one is in the thousands place. So we need to multiply by 1,000. This one has a value of 1,000, one group of 1,000, which is just 1,000, plus, and then next we have a zero in the hundreds place. This zero tells us that the number doesn't have any hundreds, so we don't have a value to show here. We don't have a value to write for the hundreds place, so we can move to the next digit. That's this eight right here. So our next digit, we have an eight, and then that eight is in the tens place, so times 10. This eight has a value of eight tens, eight groups of 10, which is 80. And then our last digit, we have a zero in the ones place. So we don't have a value to write for the ones place. We are done. That's the expanded notation for 21,080. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have 9,390,466. So let's start with the digit furthest to the left, this nine right here. So we have our digit nine times, and then that nine is in the millions place. So times one million. Our next digit is this three right here. So we have our digit of three times, and then this three is in the hundred thousands place. So times 100,000. Our next digit is this nine. So we have another nine. So our digit of nine times, and then this nine is in the 10 thousands place. So times 10,000. And then we can continue underneath here. Our next digit is this zero. This zero is in the thousands place. So we don't have a value to show here. We don't have a value to write for the thousands place. So let's move to the next digit this four. So we have a four times, and that four is in the hundreds place. So times 100. Our next digit is this six. So we have a six, and it is in the tens place. So times 10. And then lastly, we have another six in the ones place. So our digit of six times, and again, it's in the ones place, so times one. And that's it. That's our expanded notation for 9,390,466. So now that we've gone through both expanded form and expanded notation, let's take a look at one more example where we have a number written both ways. So here is our last example. We have 45,782 written in expanded form and expanded notation. So we can compare here. Both are expanding this number out to show the value of the digits. We will start with the four in the 10 thousands place. It has a value of 40,000, which is written for the expanded form and then for the expanded notation, we have four times 10,000. Both of those represent the value of that four. Then we have a five in the thousands place. So 5,000 for the expanded form, and then five times 1,000 for the expanded notation. 
Next, we have a 7 in the hundreds place, so 700 for the expanded form, and 7 times 100 for the expanded notation. Then we have an 8 in the tens place, so 80 for the expanded form, and 8 times 10 for the expanded notation. And then lastly, we have a 2 in the ones place, so 2 for the expanded form, and 2 times 1 for the expanded notation. Again, both expanded form and expanded notation took this number and expanded it out to show the value of each digit, just in a slightly different way. So there you have it. There's how to write numbers in expanded form and expanded notation. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.